So that's the, uh, that's the helicopter, that's the chopper at work. Uh, what it does is it comes in from uh, the valley and uh, it is not carrying uh, water under its carriage when it makes its first approach. It dips down into a, a smaller uh, valley, uh, very close to where I am right now. It picks up a giant uh, bag of water. It looks almost like a big burlap sack. Uh, that gets hooked to a wire under uh, the chopper's underbelly and it brings that up to the uh, top of the mountain. Now, the part, uh, the section of the mountain where it's, it's hovering uh, and where presumably the fire is, is uh, coincidentally uh, a spot on the mountain that I got very close to just a couple of days ago. I decided to make a, uh, an attempt to climb Hyungjaebong, uh, uh, Hyungjae Peak. I've, uh, I've tried it a few times before, but this time I, I finally got up uh, very close to the top. It's a relatively big mountain. It's uh, 1,100 uh, meters above sea level. Feels like a lot more when you're hiking it. Uh, I got uh, stymied just a little bit near the, the top because there's a construction project, and the construction project is almost exactly at the spot where the, uh, the chopper has been hovering. So I don't know whether it was somebody at the construction project that noticed a fire or that inadvertently started a fire by flicking a cigarette or something like that. In any case, uh, there's quite a bit of activity there and uh, uh, because there is no visible smoke, I'm assuming that this is not unmanaged unmanageable or, uh, or uh, a really catastrophic fire like the kinds uh, that sometimes uh, erupt in this region. For example, one that I mentioned in a previous video that came very close to burning down a Buddhist temple and destroying some local homes. Nevertheless, uh, because of the dryness of Korean winters and springs, uh, forest fires are a real uh, risk and that dryness generally speaking, has tended to, uh, to increase uh, with, uh, with climate change. 